Hello, everybody who is joining us now for our Thankful Thursday live gratitude practice. For those that were able to join us last week live, thank you for coming back. For those that watched on the recorded version, thank you. And if this is your first time watching, welcome. Uh, as we create our new normal, and I'm certainly thankful that each of you are looking to gratitude as part of uh, the new normal that we're trying to create. Last night, I was with my daughters watching the Jane Goodall documentary. And Jane said, not only can we make a difference, but we will make a difference. And that's what each of you are doing, is that you are practicing gratitude, which absolutely makes a difference. One of the things that I love is to share my excitement, to share my enthusiasm, building a gratitude app that came out of my own practice as part of that sharing. And today, uh, I'm even more excited to get to share uh, this practice with Oakley Ogden. Um, she's a trained therapist and practicing meditation uh, for 20 years. And we've gotten to know each other over the last six to nine months. And I've just truly been impressed with her generosity, her curiosity, and so it's truly um, a gift uh, that she's able to join us today. So I invite you to just take a breath, let go of whatever else uh, was outside of this Zoom call um, before you came, to not worry about what may be coming after this. Just be present because when we're present we're giving ourselves the chance to notice good and remember that when we make visible what we value we're making good possible and the flip is we take for granted what we take for granted we make invisible and so this time that you're giving yourself right now is really about being in alignment with being present and you're noticing. One of the things I love about gratitude is that it's at that intersection of our self-care and our social relationships. And this practice that we're getting to do as a community is helping both ourselves but each other. And when we do that, we're making more good possible in the world. I'm going to, um, you're gonna see my eyes distracted every so often, just I'm admitting folks in as they came in late. And so apologize to anybody who wasn't able to join us last week as we are continuing to refine the logistics of this. These are real time practices. And so that's the beauty of life, there's mistakes. Uh, and part of what we're doing is just learning in real time and to be able to act with compassion and to act with self-compassion. Oakley is going to be guiding us today through a practice she calls the North Star. I love that framing. It's about that orientation. And when we are willing to just pause and to look up, we're giving ourselves the chance to see more. And not just to see more, but see where we are in our orientation. And so for the next few minutes, um, Oakley will be guiding us through this practice. And, um, and then we will wrap. Please, I invite you to share in the chat comments. That's another way for us to be further connected. Or use your journal or use the GThanks app. This is participatory. And it's meant to be for you. And so whether your practice of gratitude is long and rich and you're just sustaining that, 
If you're just gratitude curious and this is your first time opening to it, welcome. Or if there's been some serious struggles and challenges in your life and you're looking for a different way to look at what is happening in your life, you're welcome. And we appreciate you being here. So with that, I'll turn it over to Oakley. Thank you, Omar. Thank you so much for having me. This is such a special time together. Um, hey everyone, I'm Oakley Ogden and uh, just coming to you live from Denver, Colorado. And today, as Omar said, we're gonna do a little practice that I love that I start all my new clients with actually. And this is a work that really changed my life, um, the North Star work. And in this time of real uncertainty, I mean real uncertainty, where so much is unwritten for us as we move into our future, I think that it's so valuable to take a moment like we are today and drop into what we're committed to inside as a feeling state, an emotional state of being. We spend so much time in our life, in our days, just being pulled from one emotion to another, reacting to the world, recovering from the reaction, right? And so our North Star can remind us kind of where we're headed when we get kind of lost in that swirl, in that fog. So today we're just gonna take a little while and I'm gonna guide you in really declaring for yourself what that is for you. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a breath and close your eyes for a moment. And before we do anything wild and intentional, meditative or spiritual, I just want you to check with yourself, what am I feeling right now? What am I feeling right now? And absolutely anything that you discover is okay. It could be frustration, anger, blame or fear. It could be peace and inspiration, a sense of connectedness, absolutely anything, wherever it is on the spectrum is welcome. So just take a breath and notice. Even become aware of the sensations that those feelings are creating in the body. Where's my breath? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Do I have a sense of contraction in the body, of tightness, or am I feeling relaxed and at ease? And again, we're not putting any stories or labels. Nothing's good or bad right now. We're just noticing. And from this place, we're gonna engage what I call the square breath, where we inhale on a count of four, pause, and then exhale on a count of four and pause. And I'll guide us through that. And just stick with me. I'm gonna push us a little bit past our comfort zone. The mind for some of us may want to kind of, okay, I'm done now. Just do it a little bit longer so we can reset the nervous system and really start to create this North Star work. So wherever you are, whether it's fear, whether it's love, it's perfectly okay. Whether it's fear, whether it's love, it's perfectly perfectly okay. So let's exhale all our air together and inhale two, three, four and pause and exhale two, three, four and pause and inhale two, three, four, pausing and exhale, two, three, four, and pause, couple more, inhale, two, three, four, pause, 
and exhale. Two, three, four, and pause. Inhale, two, three, four, and pause. And exhale, two, three, four, and pause. Release the breath. And just allow yourself to breathe at your own pace. And if you're still comfortable with your eyes closed, stay there. Eyes open is fine, but turning inward makes it a little easier. And now I'm going to invite us all to pick a person, place, or thing that brings a smile to our face. Absolutely anything that's there, first thought, best thought, a person, place, or thing, a partnership, a favorite food, a pet, an event that occurred, a memory you have, a place that you may love, a person, place, or thing, and bring that in front of you. In your mind's eye, just bring it in front of you. And just let yourself feel that feeling of warmth that starts. And we're gonna start with our gratitude for whatever we've chosen. I'm so thankful for this person, place, or thing in my life. I'm so thankful for this. Let's really let ourselves go there. Thank you, thank you. This makes a difference in my life. And we'll begin to feel this opening of the heart through gratitude. Gratitude is the fastest and most direct way into a love-based state, into the present moment. So just take a breath. Ah, and just let your body relax a little bit more. Let the mind relax a little bit more. And let's allow ourselves to feel the sensation of ease and opening, even if it's subtle, that's good enough. For others, it may be bigger, it's perfect. Really let ourselves feel this gratitude. I'm so grateful for this. Hmm. Thank you. Letting the nervous system downshift. Letting the shoulders relax. Letting the jaw relax even the forehead and the cranium, just letting it slide down towards gravity. Let's all give ourselves over to our seat a little bit more, just growing a little bit heavier. Letting our torso and rib cage relax. Hips and thighs, knees and calves and shins all the way down to our toes. And just sigh, I'm so grateful for this. And really let yourself see it, really let yourself feel it. And now from this place, I'm going to invite us all to choose an emotional state, whether it be inspiration, passion, clarity, vitality, an emotional state that we wish to embody in the future. Six months from now, a year from now, See yourself 
and see yourself embodying this emotional state that you're choosing now. It could just be love. I feel more loving. It could be a deeper sense of gratitude. My gratitude is rooted and unwavering. Vitality in the body, peace, power. You choose. Really let yourself go there. And if you're struggling to find it, just choose one and all the rest will come. They're all related. So choose your one just for practice. And now see yourself six months or a year from now and feel yourself embodying this state. all the way, begin to visualize a day in your life from this emotional state. What does it feel like for you to get out of bed? What does your morning look like? Do you have a routine? How do you walk through the house? How do you dress? How do you interact with colleagues? What are your relationships like? What is your physical body like? Has it changed? Has it shifted? What food do you love to eat? What food do you choose to eat? How do you rejuvenate? How do you play? What do you do for fun? Really let yourself go. This is a time for imagination. The how is not up to us right now. Just what it looks like, feel it all the way. And keep breathing. How are you influencing the world around you? What does your family and friends say about you? How are you perceived? All from this state of being. I'll just give you a moment or two just to breathe. Just to imagine, just to visualize, just to feel. And now coming back to the moment, Rolling the shoulders back, taking a couple deep breaths, and simply noticing the difference between the moment you got on this call to now, even the subtle shifts. This is what it takes to create our North Star, to really declare what we're committed to. So that when the world is reconfiguring itself, reorganizing itself, we can say, okay, world, you can swirl, you can dissolve, you can recreate, you can do your mysterious thing. And I'm committed to love. And I'm committed to peace. And I'm committed to vitality. And so we know now moving through our day on a day-to-day basis, when we're having feelings that aren't taking us towards that North Star, but taking us away, we can take a moment, take a couple deep breaths, the four-sided breath, and then re-engage your commitment, re-engage the vision, and spend some time playing with it. Intention is everything, and as we are rewriting our story on this planet, 
this is one way that we can really participate consciously. So thanks for joining me today. It was so fun to be with all of you and hope to see you again.